Peter, he invests 1,200 in a savings account in order to save up for an overseas trip in five years' time. Interest rate for the five-year period is 11% per annum compounded monthly. At the end of the third year, he runs into financial difficulty and withdraws 5,000 from the account. How much money will he have saved at the end of the five-year period? Okay, again, let us draw a timeline. Here's our timeline. We are not arrogant. I definitely try not to be, so I always draw a timeline. It helps. Okay. Here's time of five years. Zero five. Okay, let's see when does the change takes place. Okay. Over this whole period, interest didn't change. So for the whole period we get eleven percent compound uh, per annum. Compounded annually. As uh, not annually, uh, monthly. Compounded monthly. However, the interest rate of the five year period is going to be compounded monthly at the end of the third year. So after three years. So that is two, one, two, three, four. At the end of the third year, he withdraws 5,000. So we subtract 5,000 from his savings. How much will he have after the period of five years? Well, once again, we have a principal value. The principal value being 12,000 grand. This time, we're looking for the future value still, but this time there was only one change after three years. So we're going to have a new P1. We'll work out P0. Take it to the future, subtract 5,000, and use that new answer for only the remaining two years to calculate the A. Now let me sh show you how that is done one, once more. There's very various ways of doing it, and if you find an easier way, and if you play around with this, you probably will. Okay, but I'm going to take the long way around. So, I want the value P1. P1. And from P, for P1, we have to take value P0, and it grew in this account for a time period at an interest rate. What was the value? It was a thousand, sorry, twelve thousand rand. It grew at an interest rate of eleven percent, compounded monthly. So I divided with twelve by twelve hundred because it's a percentage. And that was over three years. However, N does not represent years, it represents the number of times I get interest. If I get interest 12 times a year, every month, for three years I get it 36 times, 12 times 3. And using my calculator, let's just memory clear, and clear the screen, 12,000 times. In brackets, 1 plus 11 over 1200 to the power of 36 gives us an answer of 16,666,54. 16,666,54 rands. <clears throat> now, this is what he had in the bank account. However, it's not what was left there. So, we had to subtract 5,000 rand. So to get A, this future value, I'm only going to use what's left here, and that's 16,666,54 minus 5,000, which means it's 11,666,54. That's what's left after I've subtracted the 5,000 rand. Which means that 11,666,54 is used, it lays in there at that interest rate still, this time for another two years. At the end of five years, from three to five will be two years, having interest every month added, so it's 24 times. And if we work that out, here's my value, minus 5,000. 
11,666,54. Let's multiply with my bracket 1 plus 11 over 1200. Close my bracket to the power of 24. I'll have 14,522. 14,522. Two decimal places because we're working with money, comma 85 cents. And there we go. There's many more questions, many more difficult questions even, but the process of solving it remains the same. Break it up into smaller pieces and you're the boss. Good luck.